guys, we're parked up here. What's this, Treasure Beach? Sugar, Sugar Beach. Beach. We're parked up here. This is Sugar Beach. This is an actual beach. So we're parked up here. We're going to eat the food that we got from St. Lawrence Market. So here's my fish and chips. My Here's lobster Kristen. roll. Lobster roll, yum. That's my coconut shrimp. And this is your coconut shrimp. That looks delish. So now I'm gonna dig into this. I have to use my hands because they forgot to put utensils. So here I go, guys. Yeah. Hmm. You know what, I'll give you guys a first bite. Here you go. <laughs> yum. Can you believe no utensil? I have to use my hand. Mmm. 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 Mm. So good. Mmm. No utensils, guys. Feels kind of weird, but. I want to picture everybody's sleep. Hmm? I really need to go to Mm. Did they give um ketchup? Go ahead. I think I was supposed to take it. Mm. Oh, ketchup. Oh, here's tartar sauce. Mm. So that's a lobster roll, guys. She's giving me a bite. Here, you can have a piece of my fish. Okay, how big should I take, guys? Watch. Small. Mmm, <laughs> mm, it's good. Do you want to try now? Mm. It's good. They have this kind of smoke mm. taste to it. Mm -hmm. It's real good. Mm -hmm. It's good. The fries are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fries are good. So here's a tart. We're not having utensils, but Oop. a little bit tartar sauce on this. More lemon. There it goes, guys. Okay, guys, I'm gonna finish eat. If I had a fork, I would. Uh, Place the camera there. Just place you guys there and watch and let you watch me eat a mukbang. But I have to use my hands because there's no utensils. So, so I'll see you guys. Mm. See you guys when we're eating dessert. <laughs> yeah, when we're having dessert, we'll see you guys. So guys, and here is the CN Tower. Here is our famous CN Tower. Look at this, guys. Aren't these beautiful? What what is what's this place called? Hello Crunch. Hello Crunch. This is so beautiful. So this is our dessert after that beautiful uh, fish and chips and all that that we got from St. Lawrence Market. So this is our dessert. Welcome back. So what I'm gonna do, I, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna video this. I wasn't gonna do a video on this, but you know what? It's a, it's a quick um, stir fry. So it's gonna be like a stir fry beef. So I just decided to just, since it's a quick video, just to show you um, this because this is something that you can do in 20 minutes. Okay. So this is a fry, a quick fry beef I bought. It's thinly sliced. And then what I'm gonna do is stir fry this and add a little bit of water in the pot, in the wok after say five minutes of stir frying, just like cook down a little bit. Then I have all this great colors to add to it. So I have green onion, carrots, onion, and in this, okay, with the seasons I put in this, there's teriyaki. There's about a teaspoon of teriyaki. There's mushroom soy sauce. The mushroom soy sauce is good to use because it's darker and it has more, it have more body and more flavor. Ginger, garlic, onion, and there is, and I have carrots here, of course, and broccoli. 
I am actually blanching the broccoli right now and I have carrots. I said carrots already, right? Yes. And here we have green onions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stir fry this first. I have the wok here. Make sure you have a wok. I shouldn't say, if you don't have a wok, just use a nice um, fry pan, a deep fry pan, okay? So here we go. See, I was heating this up already. I'm going to turn up the heat. There we go. Okay, so there we go, guys. Pot should have been hotter. It was hot before, but it was getting so hot. I wasn't ready with the camera. So what I did, I just turned on the heat and put it on a burner. But now, you know, after a few minutes, it'll be okay. Okay, so here we have it, guys. It's sizzling. Here's our beef. It's sizzling here in the pot. And remember, this won't take long to cook. And trust me, I like when my meat is thoroughly cooked, okay? So you don't want this to cook to the point of getting tough, all right? If you don't overcook it, it will be nice and, how you say it? Nice and moist. <laughs> It'll be nice and moist and juicy, guys, okay? So if you overcook, it's gonna be dry and chewy and barky. You don't want it like that, okay? So here we go. So we're gonna let this um, cook like this for about 10, 10 more minutes and then we'll add we'll add all this goodness to it okay and then what we're gonna do is put about half a cup of water in this in the sauce and then put it in the pot just to let the pot simmer okay and that's it okay so this is how it looks after seven minutes see that if this is how you like your beef guys you could even eat it like this you know what this would be great you have a a uh, nice thick um, ricotta roll and say you want to make a sandwich you can just have it like this but since we're doing stir fry beef today stir fry beef and broccoli we're doing well it's kind of like stir fry but it's really beef and broccoli so now what I'm gonna do at this stage I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the, I'm gonna add the onion green onion Now we're going to add the carrots, guys. Don't be afraid to work your wok, guys. <laughs> okay, I guess I should mention. So what I did, I just blanched um, the carrots. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to. What I'm gonna do is just um, rinse it out with cold water, okay? So that's kind of blanching. And then when this is cooked, I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add the broccoli last, okay? Because the broccoli is already cooked. You don't want the broccoli to cook any more than this. Okay, see all the beautiful colors, guys? If you have sweet peppers, like sweet red bell pepper or yellow, you can add it. You can put it in there. I would have if I had some. I just went to the grocery store and I forgot to pick up some. But this is great too. Okay. This is so good. Okay, now we're gonna add oops. Now we're gonna add the the little um, sauce that was left from the seasoning of the meat, okay? So this we're gonna leave this now to kind of cook down. We're gonna leave it for about 10-15 minutes, okay? And then we'll get back. So guys, after 25 minutes, I'd say close to I'd say close to 30 minutes of cooking, this is what we have. And this is the gravy. If you want less gravy, you can let it simmer down a bit more, okay? As I said, I wasn't going to record this, but you know what? It's a simple, easy uh, beef and broccoli dish. I wanted to share it with you, okay? And it's not much ingredient, but it's so, so delicious. So now I'm going to add the broccoli. Okay, there we go. 
there it is guys and this is it and this is it this is your beef and broccoli dish and you can eat this you can have this over chow mein you can have this you can have this over rice or you can just have this in a bowl with a roll on the side any which way you'd like to eat it eat it but I think it's nice with chow mein or rice okay so there we go now just turn off the, the heat and there we go that's it guys beef and broccoli mr. Jackson is crying what's wrong Jackson what's the matter what's the matter no reason hi everyone so here is our beef and broccoli so there's the broccoli here's the beef and I decide to have it with rice as what I say you can use uh, chow mein I'll have a taste for you okay first you guys here good huh now me mmm so good see I add like um, well, the quarter of a scotch bonnet pepper you guys can add as much spice as you like to it so good mmm okay guys so don't forget to subscribe subscribe if you're watching this video please subscribe thank you see you next time